بیرون تا دادا آقا تقصیر من نیست چی؟ آقا میگم اشتباه میکنی؟ نه خیرم کان نداره اشتباه میکنی؟ کی گفته؟ گردن من نداز مه ها کی فریش؟ آتکر آقا گوشی دست باشه؟ یه دیوانه آمده تو اه 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 بعد برم بعد برم Hey, these are good. I'll take these too. What are you doing? Oh, just stocking up on a few snack items. I know I shouldn't eat junk like this, but I love it. Are these pretzels fresh? I don't see an expiration date on the bag. Hmm, you're okay. You are going to pay for all these things. Oh yeah, cash, no checks, right? Just have a few more things I need to pick up first. You must pay for all these things you opened. Hey! I've seen this beer advertised. I've been wanting to try it. Have you seen their commercials? They make it look so thirst quenching. Hey, no! Stop! What do you think you're doing? I'm just seeing if I like this beer. No, no, you cannot do this. What? You cannot open all of my merchandise. Well, how else will I know if I like it? You buy it first. Buy it first? Then what if I don't like it? If you don't like it, you don't buy it again. Well, that would be pretty stupid, wouldn't it? I mean, you wouldn't buy a shirt or a pair of shoes without trying them on first. Of course you wouldn't. When you go shopping for a mattress, you lay on all the mattresses until you find the one that you like, right? Why should it be any different with food? In some places, it's not. Like in a restaurant, you pay after you eat, right? Of course. It's your right as a consumer to know what you're getting before you pay for it. I'm simply exercising my right as a consumer. By the way, before I forget, where's your toilet paper? No, I will call the police. The police? Why? I will not allow you to do to, to what? To, to sample the toilet paper, not in my store. I will call the police. Hey, hey, take it easy. Hey. Hey, hey, wait a minute. Take it easy. Did you think that I was going to, with the, oh man, that is really insulting. I mean, come on, get, get real. Here. Look, I'm not gonna do anything like that, okay? Gee, what do you think I am? Some kind of nut? Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to. I know what you thought I was going to do. You thought I was going to drop my drawers and wipe my ass right here. That's what you thought, right? Oh my, yes I did. I wouldn't expose myself like that in public. Thank goodness. Now, where is that toilet paper? On the next aisle. You character, you. Oh my, you made me to worry for a moment. I feel so silly. Ah, uh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Now, if I could just use your restroom for a second. No. You are crazy. I will allow this no longer. Oh, now what you be? You will not wipe yourself with my merchandise before you have paid. All right, relax. I'll take a full roll pack of, of Petal Soft, okay? I know that brand. No, get out. I'm calling the police. I will have you arrested. You have destroyed my merchandise. Put the phone down. Put the phone down. Now, first of all, I've not destroyed any merchandise. Secondly, I intend to pay for all of these things. And lastly, you have no cause to refuse service to me. I've come here with cash to purchase merchandise that you are offering for sale. Now, as I said before, I, as a consumer, have the right to know exactly what I'm getting for my money. And you, as a merchant, are obliged to disclose any known facts, defects, or hazards about the products you sell. Now, I, being a conscientious consumer, am actually doing you a favor. By testing these products before I buy them, I'm protecting you from any possible liability you may incur as a result of any defect in a product that could give me cause to bring suit against you for negligence in offering said product for sale. For example, this deodorant. Say I purchased this deodorant. I take it home, I apply it to my underarm, and I break out in a terrible rash. I'm hospitalized, unable to work. What happens? I take you to court and I sue you for my medical bills, lost wages, a little something for my pain and suffering, and of course, recovery of my attorney's fees. I win a huge settlement which you cannot possibly afford to pay. And you lose everything. 
your store, your house, your car, any hope of sending your children to college. They'll have to toil at menial jobs and they'll hate you for ruining their chances at a higher education and a better way of life. Hmm, this is that new rugged leather set. I'll take this too. Well, let's see, what, what do we got here? Toilet paper, deodorant, cookies, gum, pretzels. Oh yeah, beer, gotta have beer with pretzels. There, that'll do it. Please, take it, take it off. Take my money too, but please, please don't hurt me. What are you talking about? I wish to purchase these items. Ring it up, please. Just take them, take them and get out. You don't seem to understand. You are offering these items for sale. I wish to purchase them. So, ring up the sale. So what does that come to? Fourteen fifty-nine. Fifty-one cents is your change. I prefer paper, please. Thanks. My receipt. Thanks. See ya. Hello? Police? Please! I have been robbed. My name is Magic Avon. I own the Magic Mini Mart at 5102 Colfax Avenue. A man came in, he robbed me. Right now. He came into my store. He opened some of my merchandise, and then he took them. Yes, the things he opened. Uh, with cookies, toilet paper. Well, no, he paid for them, but please listen to me. Well, yes, I said robbed, but please let me explain. You see, he paid for it at gunpoint. Hello? <laughs>